What's up everyone, hope you all are doing well. I'm really excited to talk about this because I love checking out what the metaverse has to offer. So the metaverse has numerous methods to generate money, but I wanted to quickly share 14 ways to make money in the metaverse, as well as some pointers on how to make the most of the assets in metaverse. Okay, for this first money maker I want to talk about, complete newcomers can earn a pretty good income here with no prior expertise but it does require you to own property and land in the virtual world. If you can make a large investment and acquire property in the metaverse, this is by far the most effective tactic in the virtual world of the metaverse. In the metaverse, the first step you can do is purchase any land or property. NFTs are commonly used these days when purchasing digital real estate, and Decentraland is the biggest or at least most well-known name in the metaverse land buying industry. Decentraland, Axie Infinity, Upland, and the Sandbox plots have recently sold for millions of dollars in the virtual real estate market. So you can flip real estate, which is basically the practice of purchasing digital land or digital assets, then reselling them at a greater price and pocketing the difference. There's real estate brokerage firms. The demand for digital real estate firms has only grown because there's so much property investments to be made. As a real estate broker, you may earn a good living by putting together deals between buyers and sellers, or by just offering your expertise. Obviously, you can rent. You may buy some land, build a house, and then lease it out like in real life. If your buildings are located in high-traffic locations, you may also use your properties for advertising. Real estate management is for those with knowledge in real estate in the metaverse, managing other people's virtual assets, like concert halls and plots of land, is an excellent way to monetize your skills. There's real estate designing. It's very possible to make a lot of money conceptualizing and constructing metaverse structures in the realm of real estate design. It doesn't matter if it's a privately owned property, a shopping mall, or a ballpark. 3D designers will soon be in high demand in virtual worlds. Advertising is a real step to making money with metaverse real estate. You may charge a lot of money for the service of placing advertisements for a firm other than your own. Businesses are racing to the metaverse to establish a digital presence and to advertise their products and services. Advertisements for products and services may be placed on a wide variety of online networks, including virtual reality, just as in the real world. It's only a matter of time until the metaverse expands into a gigantic advertising and marketing platform. Next up, you can make a fortune by trading metaverse tokens. So if you think the metaverse is going to explode, but you don't want to acquire property in the metaverse, or let's assume you can't afford the property, you could purchase the token connected with that metaverse. Metaverse tokens can be purchased for a similar gain if the metaverse platform performs well over the long term. You're purchasing a metaverse coin or token, which is used to conduct transactions in that metaverse. This is one of the most reliable methods of monetizing the metaverse. You don't need to spend a lot of money like you do to acquire metaverse land. Mana is the money of the Decentraland metaverse, and it's used to buy things in the virtual world. In the Sandbox metaverse, the token is known as Sand. In Axie Infinity, it is known as AXS. You can see a list of all the different tokens linked with metaverse on a coin market valuation or platform. Also, investing in the index here gives you access to a wide range of metaverses, which is an excellent way to make money in the metaverse in my opinion, rather than having to pick and choose which ones you believe will perform well. It's a great option, especially for those who do not wish to invest years worth of funds. Gaming in the metaverse is already huge. Play to earn crypto is definitely one of the reasons gaming in the metaverse is becoming more popular, and in metaverses like Roblox, Decentraland, Sandbox, and Fortnite, gaming is now the most popular activity. Users can gather and sell in-game assets for tokens that may have real-world worth in the case of many different play-to-earn games. I've also made a video about play-to-earn games which are just amazing. Also, you may generate money by creating virtual worlds for other people to experience and enjoy. Fun stuff! Creating and flipping NFTs is highly lucrative in the metaverse. At this point, the NFT mania has no limits. With crazy news like Beeple's $69 million NFT auction and Bored Ape Yacht Club and CryptoPunk's spectacular price run, the art world has burst in recent years. The metaverse, on the other hand, 
allows you to transform any of your inventions into an NFT or non-fungible tokens and sell those on open marketplaces. User-created digital goods will be crucial to the growth and sustainability of the metaverse. This includes virtual houses and clothing as well as commodities like collector cards and equipment. Tutorials on how to construct an NFT, which would be a digital evidence of ownership and validity for any property, virtual or otherwise, may be found in plenty on the internet. Other alternatives include creating an NFT art show and selling the work of others in exchange for a portion of the earnings, or being an art broker who helps the metaverse's clientele navigate this newly created NFT environment. NFTs originally catch the interest of investors as a means of profiting from digital art. And in order to purchase art, you don't necessarily require thousands of dollars, but you must have access to an electronic wallet and an account from which you may receive payments. Which then brings me to fashion. Fashion has been one of the earliest applications of the metaverse. NFT lines from high-profile fashion firms like Louis Vuitton and Gucci have already been in use. Brand partnerships with gaming ventures have also proven popular. However, anyone may start a virtual apparel company and make money in the metaverse. There's a lot of room for experimentation even when it comes to designing avatars, even if you're not a professional fashion designer yourself. Creating a business. Entrepreneurs may thrive in the metaverse, which is ideal for their development, and possibly more simply than in the actual world. Users may create their own storefronts and get their enterprises off the ground. You may make money in virtual worlds and a variety of industries, including fashion, sports memorabilia, real estate, and even the entertainment industry. Even schools throughout the world have been forced to shut down because of the epidemic and thousands of students all over the world have been forced to take online lessons. And as the metaverse develops, its comprehensive nature will allow classrooms to become more individualized and more highly engaging. There's little doubt that tutoring and educational programs will grow in the metaverse. Okay, now so this one is great. Stream yourself experiencing the metaverse. People will want to experience the metaverse for themselves, but many more will choose to watch streamers play out their fantasies in virtual reality. Many people were shocked to learn how much money Twitch streamers were making when their earnings were disclosed recently. Just a decent microphone, niche, and face cam are all necessary if you choose to go this way. The face cam will let viewers observe your responses live. Definitely worth looking into. Then there's virtual labor. Virtual employees are in high demand if a metaverse is to be built and maintained. You can work for companies like Meta or Microsoft or as a freelancer, no matter what field you're interested in entering. You'll see a lot of demand for 3D artists and virtual reality architects, as well as community administrators, coders, graphics and fashion designers, marketers, and metaverse content providers. Also, the increasing number of items in the metaverse necessitates the need for users to test and offer feedback. To test with digital assets, there is a wide range of sectors and enterprises that will be entering the virtual world in a matter of years. But also things like online concerts, online parties, online shopping, even modern electronic fashion ideas and avatar skins may develop paving the door for clothing firms and brands to operate purely online. In order to find the ideal metaverse connectivity for your avatar, virtual testing may become more important as people's work schedules change. And lastly, I'd like to bring up tourism and travel. So virtual reality tours of ancient Greece and Egypt were trendy when travel restrictions were implemented. Plus, the metaverse's creators intend to attract viewers by staging historical reenactments including many other conflicts. As a result, you'll be able to roam across borders and back in time without ever leaving your residence. And in addition, people and organizations who use the metaverse save money and gas by reducing the need for long-distance travel. So there you have it, 14 ways to make money in the metaverse. You may see a shift in how you make money, shop, and socialize in the next several years thanks to the metaverse and cryptocurrency is reshaping the way individuals across the world earn a living. Well, I hope you liked this video and was able to learn a few things from it. Appreciate you watching. Take care.